Hi guys, it's Rose in the East, Emily here. Oof. I realized I was shooting this video and I hadn't done an intro or an ending. So, welcome to the day. <laughs> um, we have thoroughly enjoyed the sunshine today, as you will see. So today we have a bit of wetsuit fun in the paddling pool and a little tour of our victory garden all set up for you guys. So let's go have a look. <laughs> so the kids are wearing old wetsuits from two years ago. Yeah. So we got we got these in Newquay. Yeah. We got these in Newquay like two years ago. Abigail is in Joshua's old one. Joshua is in Connie's old one. And if Connie decides to wear one, she'll have to wear my old one. You will. You will. You'll be, you'll be good. You'll fit in it. <laughs> I think it's a UFO. It's a game. And he's trying to bring the chicken grass back to life. It is a bit pointless. Like, yeah, I probably wouldn't have watered it in the midday heat. It'll yeah. probably burn the grass. Well, I didn't have any time this morning to do it. I'll do it again this evening. Yeah, do it again this evening. The chickens might appreciate the worms that'll come up in the watered grass. Yeah. Let's have a little tour around the Victory Garden. Oh yeah, I don't think anybody realised that we've put the water butt on the... Wrong side? No, on the chicken run. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. So we'll collect some water in that. Yeah, hopefully. There were supposed to be thunderstorms from now. Yeah, think. we're supposed to be in the middle of a thunderstorm, but that hasn't happened. No. Right. And the mint is exploded. Can you see the mint? It's just amazing. Which one's this one? Oh, this is the chocolate one. Oh, guys, I wish you had smell a vision. Oh gosh, that's just so nice. Down there we've got a pepper doing its thing. There's there's garlic in there, but that's not come up yet. The peas are doing great, aren't they, Connie? The peas are doing awesome. So the only thing that's not doing well, if I can just get over the fence here in a skirt, it's not so easy are the climbing beans which um we now realize did really get affected by the walnut soil so you can see here that the leaves have gone yellow and are dying off so they were nutrient deficient and there's a little bit of caterpillar action as well but yeah so they were nutrient deficient in Nitrogen, I think it was, whatever it was. Andy looked it up. And so we're now fertilizing it with sort of tomato soil compost. What's the name of the compost that you're using, Andy, for the... Uh, for the beans, I'm fertilizing it with uh, chicken manure. Chicken, chicken manure pellets, yeah. Chicken manure pellets. There we so go. A general fertilizer. So that should hopefully give it the nutrients that it needs. It won't do anything for the old growth, that they'll still go yellow and die off. But um, fingers crossed the new growth will kick in and they will survive. If not, we'll rip them out, buy some more and plant them in. <laughs> so that's them. The carrots are doing great next door. They are growing brilliantly, as are the beetroots. So those are the beetroot seeds coming up. You've got carrots here. And then obviously those are the carrots that were grown in the pots. And they're doing really good. There is now one tiny oregano plant over here. And another one. Ooh, another one over there. Unless they're weeds. Unless they're weeds, Andy says. There could be weeds. But I don't think they are. There's another one over here, look. 
We could very well have some oregano growing. The parsley has recouped from its last clipping. The courgettes have probably doubled in size since our last video, so they're doing great. The shallots are growing nice and tall. Look at these bad boys. They're doing really well, actually. Tomatoes have definitely grown. So they're doing really good out here as well. And the lettuce has just exploded in here. So they're doing really good. As is that, that random potato on the side. The raspberries are doing well. They're definitely growing, so that's good. And they're flowering as well. So that's good. We like it when they flower. Scared of bees anymore. Well, you're not scared of bees anymore, did you say? Mm. Well, that's good. So, yeah, grapevine down there, still surviving. Seed pods are now arriving on the lupins, so I will be collecting those when they go brown. We've got thousands of seed pods, yeah. But that's what I love about lupins, they're so easy to keep going, really. So... Are we going to plant them like, in a different spot? Yes, we are. We're going to plant them in the front garden this time. Uh, I can't wait to grapes. Grapes, I know. It, will, it might be a couple of years before you get grapes that you're used to. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I've never seen a, a red flower on a strawberry plant. No, different, isn't it? I've never seen that before. I've always seen white flowers. Look at those. So the strawberries are exploding. They are just loving it. They're loving the sun. Yeah. Um, part of me feels like we should have dedicated an entire bed just to strawberries. <laughs> well, we've got lots of little suckers on those. So where are we going to put them for next year? Yeah, where are we going to put them to next year? This fruit this year, but they certainly will next year. If we can double the number of plants, and then next year double it again. We love our, or our own strawberry farm before we know it. Abigail will absolutely go mad for it. I'm going mad for the grapes. Like, but we've got to have a place for it. Somewhere in the sun. Hmm. So yeah, so our victory garden is looking good. I'm still waiting, by the way, Mr. Rowe. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm still... <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my one foot by one foot square slab of wood that I can yeah. paint my quilted shapes onto. That's because it's nothing to do with the garden. <sighs> That's because it's something I want and therefore it's not a priority for you. <laughs> uh, I do have a large project going on. I don't care, the front gate is not a priority. <laughs> the one who Says the one who demanded we have it. I know, I know, I know. I'm only messing. I love this area. You can chuck up a few over there. Yes, now that we've kept the chickens out of here, you can do that. You're going to have a long way to run to get your <laughs> shoes back. Feel the grass in your feet. I know, it's going to be good, isn't it? It's going to be one big garden. It's going to be a middle garden. Yeah. It's going to be so nice. And the chickens are here. Chickens are doing well. <laughs> Having a little prune. Putting yourself out. Hey, Peppa. One one day they'll recognise their individual names. I'm sure of it. Oh, what have you found, Peppa? Are you finding some bugs? Yeah. There's loads of flies around here, so I'm sure they've got plenty to eat. Magma's off foraging in the distance there. <laughs> there we go. What are those plants here? What are what plant these plants? These are potatoes oh, wow. that we were not able to hill up because we didn't have any extra soil.
but they are potatoes and there'll be potatoes in that bed. Well, there are potatoes in that bed there. And they are growing right before your very eyes. They are growing. I can remember it was only near the beginning of quarantine. We stuck potatoes in the ground over there. Now they're huge plants. Yeah. Yeah, so if that takes eight weeks, then in this one, it could be little ones showing very soon. Look at those two nutters in the distance over there, look. They're loving it. They're really happy having those wetsuits on, aren't they? Yeah. There we go. So this is the Rowe family just enjoying the lovely summer day that we're having. I'm just videoing you guys having fun. Are you Aquaman? Yeah, I'm Aquaman. Oh, I, don't, oh, I, mommy, can get my ducky, my ducky, my I can go and get your unicorn ducky. And, yes. And bath toys. Hi. Bath stuff delivery. What can I need? I'll drive One back. unicorn duck. And three McDonald's cups. <laughs> they are so happy. <laughs> oh, okay. It sounds like Constance wants the swimsuit on. All right, the guys have got goggles now. Go on then, go under. Okay. I ain't going under. No, you don't have to go under. But my swimsuit does swamp Connie a little bit. But still, it's better that than being freezing cold. <laughs> oh, oh. Alright, come on. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, you might want to you might want to cover up the uh, <laughs> plug, Sandy. Yeah, you just put it upside down. I could fall asleep. <laughs> you guys. So that was our day. Total chaos in beautiful sunshine. I even got a bit of scripture time in on the uh, swing this afternoon, so that's always good. So I'll just finish here with a little sneaky peek at what Andy's almost finished. I'm not going to give too much away. I know he's done his own video on it. So we will see you guys in the next video very soon, hopefully. Just hold on.